Hello, hello, and have a wonderful day to all of you. In this particular video, I will describe the basic parts and functions of a four-wheel tractor. In addition, simple steps to work in our film. So, stay in touch. The basic parts of a four-wheel tractor are Front wheel. Front wheels are utilized for steering and are typically smaller in size. The tractor should always be in front wheels drive when working in the field. Rear wheel. Tractors are designed to tow trailer or pull grass mowing drilling equipment, hence they have rear wheel drive. Torn signals. Torn signals also known as directional indicators or directional signals. It is the blinking lamp mounted near the left and right front and rear corners, and sometimes on the sides, that are activated by the driver on one side of the vehicles. Fender The major function of the fender is to keep sand, mud, gravel, liquids, and other road spray from being flung into the air by rotating tires. Lift arm. The two lower arms or the hitch lifting arms are controlled by the hydraulic system and provide lifting, lowering, and even tilting to the arm. The upper center arms are called as the top link. It is movable but is usually not powered by the tractor's hydraulic system. Desk plow. The desk plow uses round, concave desk or hardened steel with diameter range from 20 to 38 inches that are sharpened and sometimes straight on the edge, about 50 to 95 centimeter. Fuel tank. The fuel tank is the container from where an engine gets its fuel from. The fuel tank is a reservoir that retains the fuel supply while also assisting in keeping the temperature below the flash threshold. Muffler A muffler, also known as a silencer, is a device that passes exhaust gases from an internal combustion engine through to attenuate or lower the engine's airborne noises. Engine hood a hinge cover that covers the tractor engine. Steering wheel A steering wheel and the mechanism to which is connected obviously regulates the direction of a vehicle. Hydraulic pump The hydraulic pump pulls oil from the reservoir and sends it under high pressure to the control valve. The oil travels from the control valve to the hydraulic cylinder where it operates the piston which lifts the arms. Rear Axle Housing This permits the wheels to rotate at different rates. The gear that drives these wheels, as well as the two independent axle components, will be contained within the axle housing. Tractor Seat Tractor seats are required because personnel would be unable to operate these vehicles for a long period if they were required to stand rather than seats. Instrumental panel. It is a control panel in front of the driver of a tractor that houses instrumentation and controls for the vehicle's operation. Hand throttle. The hand throttle is used to control the speed of the engine. When operating a tractor in the field, the hand throttle should always be used. Clutch. A clutch is a device that allows the tractor engine to connect and disengage from the transmission gear and driving wheels. The friction between the driving and driving elements delivers power through the clutch. Brake. Brake. A tractor's brake is used to slow or halt its motion. It is actuated by two independent pedals and it is situated on the drive axle. Ignition switch. 
An ignition switch, also known as a starter switch or start switch, is a switch in a vehicle's control system that activates the vehicle's major electrical system. The gas pedal is another name for the accelerator. This pedal regulates the amount of gas supplied into the engine and, as a result, the vehicle's speed. Gear lever Normally, a gear stick is used to change gear while the left foot depresses the clutch pedal to disconnect the engine from the transmission and wheels. Hydraulic control lever It is a mechanism in a truck that uses hydraulics to lift, hold, or lower mounted or semi-mounted equipment. Here are the steps to drive a four-wheel tractor. First, turn the K forward to start the engine. When it turns over, drop the throttle slightly without killing it to let the engine warm up a little. Press the clutch pedal. Continue holding the clutch to the tractor floor and put the transmission into the first gear. Slowly lift your foot off the clutch. Maintain a uniformly slow speed. Go slowly, treating torn scorb and hells with special caution. Tractors aren't made for going particularly fast. They are made for durability and power. Don't push it. To stop the tractor, press the clutch to the floor completely, switch the gear to neutral, and seat the parking brake. Thank you for watching my videos, I hope you learned something.